Chapter 1 Generations of Computers Learning Objectives After studying this chapter, students will be able to Learn about the different generations of computers Classify and differentiate between various types of computers Get ready Hi Tiny Techie, did you know that early computers were as big as room? Really? How did they get so much smaller? Great question. We will learn about that. Let's try this challenge activity first. Write the names of the computers shown in the pictures below. Generations of computers. The computers we see today are very different from what they were years ago. They have evolved through multiple generations of technological advancements to reach their current form. With each generation, significant developments in technology have made computers smaller, cheaper and more powerful. These generations of computers are classified based on the technologies used to design them. First Generation Computers 1940 to 1958 Between 1940 and 1958, people used first generation computers. These computers relied on vacuum tubes. Some key characteristics of first-generation computers are as follows. Enormous in size, expensive and slow to operate, extremely heavy and had limited internal memory. Inputs to these computers were provided using punched cards and paper tapes. Some examples of first-generation computers are Mark I, ANIAC, ADSAC, ADVAC, UNIVAC. Second-generation computers 1959 to 1964 Between 1959 and 1964, people used second-generation computers. Some other characteristics of the second-generation computers are smaller, faster and more efficient than the first-generation computers. Magnetic tape and disks introduced. High-level languages like COBOL and FORTRAN developed. Examples Univac 3, IBM 704, IBM 1401. Third generation computers, 1964 to 1970. Between 1964 and 1970, third generation computers were in use. These computers replaced transistors with integrated circuits, ICs, also known as chips. They featured operating systems that allowed multiple programs to run simultaneously. Some characteristics of the third generation computers include greater storage capacity, more faster, more efficient and smaller in size as compared to second generation computers. Used keyboards for input and monitors for output. Examples of third-generation computers include the Univac 900 series and IBM 360. Fourth-generation computers 1971 to present. People started using fourth-generation computers in 1971 and continue to do so today. The fourth-generation computers are the present-day computers. Microprocessors, a type of VLSI, very large-scale integration, and ULSI, ultra-large-scale integration, which contain all the components of a CPU on a single chip, were used in these computers. Some characteristics of the fourth-generation computers are smaller, more energy-efficient and reliable than the previous generations, advanced processing and memory capacities, Enabled the development of personal computers, PCs. Support computer networks, leading to the creation of the Internet. Extremely powerful, processing millions of instructions in a fraction of a second. Some examples of fourth-generation computers are IBM PC and Apple Macintosh. Fifth-generation computers. Until the fourth generation, the primary focus of computer development was on reducing size and improving efficiency, resulting in smaller yet faster machines. However, the main limitation of these computers was their inability to think. The fifth generation computers aim to address this limitation. Scientists are developing fifth generation computers based on artificial intelligence, AI, 
these computers are able to process audiovisual commands. Robots are prime examples of AI in action. Types of computers Different types of computers are used at various places for different purposes. Computers are divided into four categories based on their size. They are microcomputers. Microcomputers are small in size. They are designed for the use by one person. So, they are called personal computers, PCs. They are the most commonly used computers. Generally, schools, homes, offices and shops use microcomputers single period. Examples Commodore 64 IBM PC The names of the various microcomputers which vary depending on their use are as follows. Desktops Desktop computers are designed to sit on desks, consisting of separate components like a monitor, system cabinet, keyboard and mouse that work together as one unit. Laptops Laptops are portable computers that run on batteries and are easy to carry. They perform the same functions as desktops but are smaller in size. Screen sizes usually range from 13 to 15 inches. Tablet computers. Tablets are smaller and lighter than laptops but larger than smartphones, featuring touch-sensitive screens instead of a keyboard and mouse. Common sizes include 7, 8 and 10 inches. They are often used for reading, watching movies, browsing the internet and more. Handheld devices. Handheld devices are smaller, portable and can easily fit in a pocket. Examples include smartphones and tablets, also known as personal digital assistants, PDAs. They may have a touch screen or a simple display with a keyboard. Smartphones Smartphones are handheld devices that combine the features of a personal computer with those of a mobile phone. They are used for calling, texting, emailing, web browsing, video capture, gaming and more. Game consoles. Game consoles are devices designed for playing interactive video games, equipped with game controls and speakers. They can be connected to a TV or computer with examples including Microsoft Xbox, Sony PlayStation and Nintendo VII. Embedded systems. Embedded systems are specialized computer systems integrated into larger devices containing essential components like a CPU, RAM and ROM but lacking a disk drive, keyboard or a screen. They are designed for specific tasks in devices like TVs, vehicles and appliances. These systems are also known as microcontrollers. Mini computers. Mini computers are more capable than microcomputer. They are faster and have more memory. They are bigger than microcomputers. They are used in offices to connect many computers together. For example, PDP-8, HP-2100 and Micro-VAX-3100. Mainframe computers. Mainframe computers have faster speed and large storage capacity than mini computers. They are large computers and have many terminals connected to a network. They are used in big organizations and are mostly used for businesses and scientific research purposes. For example, IBM Z series PDP-10 and System Z10. Supercomputers The most powerful computers in terms of performance are supercomputers. These computers are very expensive. They are used for weather forecasting and defense purposes such as controlling missiles and satellites, for example, Cray-1, Cray-2, Param, Sunway, Taihulite 